What I did next is instead of starting with objects, I started with prompts and I found a prompt that I found very interesting and it's prompt number 17. Why do we seek knowledge? So I started to think of all the reasons why I seek knowledge. Uh, or so I seek knowledge as a teacher to help other people. So I just started to answer this prompt just with my thoughts. Uh, I seek knowledge for survival. need to make money to pay the bills and to eat somehow so I need to seek knowledge in order to sustain a career in order to survive in the modern world but what's interesting is we think a little bit deeper about this idea of survival and this could get interesting if we come up with why other people seek knowledge and if the reason survival what other examples might come off that but I'll get back to that I was uh, spending time with my son and I found that he doesn't seek knowledge for any other reason than curiosity. This might be the most pure reason why we seek knowledge. We're just curious. Babies and kids do this all the time. They want to know why does the wheel spin? Why does the ball roll? They're trying to work out the world around them just because they're curious. And I think that's a baked in aspect of human nature and even animals in general. You see other animals do this too. They're very curious about the world around them. Uh, what are some other ideas? So I was thinking about why other people seek knowledge and they might seek it for along with this idea of survival. Something that also links to this is for uh, fortune or financial gain. If I know a lot about cryptocurrencies, then I can uh, make a lot of money from that. Another, you can see how this kind of relates too, right? You need money to survive in the modern world, uh, but you could actually be trying to find more money than what you need um, because you're seeking fortune and financial gain. Something that also relates to that would be fame or notoriety I don't know if you if that's spelt correctly you want to be known so this also relates fame and fortune also relate so you can see just by answering the prompt I'm coming up with lots of ideas so then what I did is instead of just thinking about me I was looking for other perspectives from other people and I went out and spoke to some other people and some very some people that I respect some people that I think are deep thinkers and I just asked them this prompt I didn't tell them that it was about TOK I didn't tell them that it was an assignment that I was doing I just asked them why do we seek knowledge why do we want to understand the world around us and somebody said for self-actualization I would never have come up with this myself so talking to somebody else really gave me other ideas which I thought were really interesting then I was thinking about people that run uh, non-profits and like why do they seek knowledge why do they go out and do what they do every day try to learn more and I was thinking they're mission driven they're driven by a mission which could also relate to helping others. So you can still starting to make a lot of connections here. What I did next is I started to work out. So I talked to a lot of other people and got a lot of ideas and bounced ideas and refined my ideas over time. This is not everything that I come up with. The, the, my brainstorm was quite big and quite detailed. But what I started to do now is I started to think about what objects I could use to help me discuss these ideas. So I was thinking the idea of fame and fortune or notoriety, I thought what was interesting was uh, the Nobel Prize. So why do people pursue winning the Nobel Prize? Sometimes it's to help others. Sometimes it's for fame and fortune. Sometimes it's just a mission. Sometimes it's curiosity. Wow, great.
I got a lot to talk about if I use that as an object. Can you see what's happening here? Next up, I was thinking about survival. So why do we seek knowledge to survive or what object could we use to help support this? So I was thinking, oh, maybe a GPS device that helps us survive. That's about survival. If I think about in the past, we didn't have GPS devices, but we had things like a sextant. I'll let you look that up yourself. Uh, even toilets. This might sound crazy, but we had to learn how to make toilets in order to have hygienic uh, living environments. And then I was thinking related with this is a compass. So these relate doesn't relate to a toilet obviously but so on and so on so what I started to do is I started to just continually add to this over time you can see that my rectangles are actual objects you can see that I have my ideas starting to map out and what I eventually came down to was uh, three great objects that helped me discuss very interesting things what I did is, why do we seek knowledge? I thought that most people were seeking knowledge for either fame or notoriety or fortune. So all of the ideas that I came up with this, I actually crossed out because I thought it would be too cliche. Too many people would actually say, why do we seek knowledge? These are the reasons. I tried to find more interesting ideas and I think survival is a great one. This mission idea I think is super interesting. Curiosity, self-actualization, I couldn't totally understand myself, but uh, when the person that told me about this idea uh, explained it, um, it seemed like a great idea, but I'm not going to choose this one because I can't really work out a way to argue this or to support my claims, right? So you can see that I'm starting to work out maybe these three could work. Maybe I could talk about Nobel Prize for mission and curiosity. I've got some themes that are popping up here. And I found that this process helped me much more. This really helped me come up with ideas for my exhibition. If you get stuck on one prompt, you could do this all again for another prompt and see if you can come up with better ideas and better objects.